Um, I'd like us to, to kind of switch for a moment to go back to checking in about our parts and thinking about our children's parts. Um, for a moment, I, I would like you just like for now, just thinking about ourselves. There's a phrase in IFS that we say, oftentimes our past is in our present. And this is really um, something that's spoken a lot of when we do couples work, like we're, we're interacting with our partner and our past is in the present. And, and when your partner does something or a friend does something, even our child does something, our reaction is really rooted in the past. All those parts that have experienced things like this in the past or things that have affected us to react this way. So how do we get the past out of the present? And we do that by asking our parts to give us space and working with our parts. If you don't work with a practitioner, IFS therapist, I would at least, I would highly recommend doing at least three to five, 10 sessions, because this it really helps you as a parent to get to know your own parts. Um, but I'd like to kind of think about my hunches, most of our protectors, well, we, we kind of know this in IFS, but most of our protectors are reacting to some kind of fear of something. Like if, if you didn't do this job, what would happen? Oh, I'm afraid we'd fall apart. I'm afraid I'd look like a bad parent. I'm afraid that my child wouldn't succeed. And if your child didn't succeed, I would look like a bad parent. So all of these parts are doing things out of reacting to fear. So I'm curious if you wouldn't mind just taking a moment and thinking like, who, who is parenting your children during home learning time? You know, is it somebody who wants a helper part of you? Is it a rescuer part of you? Is it a micromanager? Is it a teacher? So just kind of scan, think about who steps in. I just want to say this, just to honor your parts and my parts. A lot of times we do call these parts like a helper or rescuer or critic. I would like to propose that parts are more dimensional than that, that it's not only a critic. Sometimes, so I like to say the one who criticizes, the one who helps, because oftentimes when we help these parts, they shift. So they're not locked in, it's not only a critic. It's, what, it's criticizing right now because it's desperate to make your life go better, to, to have you not be criticized by others. Um, so we, somebody said we have one that micromanages from fear of failure. Somebody just posted that on our, that's right. So we have a rescuing part. We have a part that hates tedium and boring. So things that are tedious and boring. The one who wants to get it done as quick as possible part. Wonderful. Thank you. So I just want to give you a general rule of thumb that it's almost like a universal law with parts. If we lead from a part, it's like writing a little invitation to your child for one of their parts to come back at you. So it says the good little girl pleaser. So we have a part that wants to please and we're, that is somehow coming out with our child. Yeah, the perfectionist part. She tells me if you're not perfect, you're bad. Yep. I have clients and myself have parts that are concerned. Um, this is too big and I don't know where to start. Yeah. It, and on that one, I just want to say, remember that these kids have teachers right now. Like you are not the home school teacher. So you can tell that part that it's really not our job to teach during this time. It's our job to help our children learn. Um, and if we don't know where to start with our kids, we could just ask questions. What does your teacher say? Can I read the directions? But if you can read the directions. You can sit with them and say, let's problem solve this out together. Let's look at the directions and see if we can work this out. And if it's, once you're in high school, and if it's like high school math and it's way past me, it would be way past me. I'm just saying that now. Um, let's let's find out who can help you. Let's see what questions you can ask your teacher. Let's think about what friends you have that we might be able to call and see if they know the answer. 
and to let them know if you don't get it right, I want you to know that's okay. Because getting it right only takes us so far. One thing I wanted to say earlier that I didn't say is our job as parents are not, not to raise transcripts. We're not raising transcripts. We're raising learners. And if we're focused on their transcripts, <clears throat> they're going to feel like you're managing transcripts, not a human. And if we focus on learning and you support learning, they're going to have good transcripts. Yeah, so just I want to go back to the one before that feels like a bad teacher and that I'll be punished or judged. Um, when I feel those kinds of things, it really is a signal to me to know to check in with my own parts and finding the ones that feel judged. And hopefully this makes sense to you if you know IFS, that we look inside and we even ask, like, who feels judged? You might notice a sensation in your body. And then you might even see like an image, like a flash, and you think, oh, I'm just making this up. But if you just stay with it, you might notice you'll see a part of you or you'll see yourself at a certain time. And going to that part and really hearing what it's feeling, asking what's happening, and letting it know that you are not going to judge it. Like it has somebody, the most important person, self, won't judge this one. Because oftentimes those parts that feel judged are looking outward. Like if you even imagine them in your body, you almost see them looking out at others, feeling like their judgment is more important than self, which is right here. So I often will ask those parts, just turn towards me and see that I'm not judging you. Like you have a safe place right in here. And you'll notice your system hopefully will calm down and the more you get to know those parts, the more they'll tell you what's happening and, and who, and like, what's the story of being judged in the past that makes it so hard when my partner judges? Because my guess is the past is in the present in that moment. 